What's up, boat doers, and welcome back. Now that you've seen VoIP in action from our previous video, let's run through setting it up in your Udo database. VoIP, aka Voice Over Internet Protocol for my lovers of linguistics, is a digital phone system that operates over the internet, allowing you to make calls without traditional phone lines and reduces your cost by not dealing with the equipment. In this video, we're going to go through setting up in Odoo and in Axivox, which is one of Odoo's partnered VoIP service providers. Before we begin, though, one thing to note is you will need a VoIP service provider. This includes creating an account with a provider and making payments to gain access to their VoIP technology. When choosing a service provider, ensure that they're covering your area that you're going to be making calls from, such as your office location. The service provider doesn't have to be Axivox, but there are some requirements your provider will need to meet, which are outlined in Odoo's VoIP documentation, which, of course, I've linked down below. Now, with all of that out of the way, let's jump into getting VoIP set up and running in Odoo. Okay, we're starting here in our database homepage, and to make sure that the VoIP module is installed, we're going to click into the Apps app and just search VoIP. Amazing. We already have it installed, so let's get back to the homepage just by clicking Apps once again at the top left of your screen. And you can also identify that the module was installed by this phone icon that's up here in the top navigation bar. Now let's head to the settings application and we're just going to scroll down to our integration section. And then here under VoIP, we're going to click in manage providers. Once you click into there, this reveals where you can add a service provider and their details. So here I'm just going to click new. While some of the fields are already filled in, we just need to update a few. First, I'm going to name this one here, Axivox slash phone. And next, we're going to enter our WebSocket. Everyone who uses Axivox will have the same WebSocket. This is safe and very normal for VoIP service providers and is beneficial for you by keeping the service provider's costs down. Next, we're going to retrieve the PBX server IP from Axivox. So now that we're in Axivox, we can retrieve that server IP. Let's just click into the user's card, and then we're going to click on our name, Mitchell Admin. Next, we're going to click into the SIP identifiers tab, then just copy that domain. Now that we're back in the database, let's paste that domain into this PBX server IP field. And then finally, we're going to change the VoIP environment from demo to production. And then now, just make sure to click save before moving on. That's how to connect your Odoo and Axivox accounts. Now let's set up user permissions. To do that, we're just going to go back into general settings using the breadcrumb right here. Then we'll click Manage Users. And then we're just going to edit our Mitchell Admin profile right here. And since we have the VoIP module installed, we're just going to click into this VoIP tab right here. And now this is where we can add our credentials. We'll see that we need a VoIP provider, which we can just select the one we just added, which is our Axivox account. And then we need to grab our username and password from Axivox. So let me hop back over there now. This SIP identifiers page where we started to grab the domain is also where our credentials are stored. So we're just going to copy the SIP username. And now that we have that ready to go, but our password, however, will need to be typed in. This is because phone calls won't go through if the password's simply just pasted. Now that we're back in Odoo, let's get those credentials entered. So like I mentioned, we can paste in our username in the VoIP username field. And I already typed in our VoIP password in the VoIP secret field just to save time for this video. So now everything's working. Let's go ahead and call our colleague's phone from the database just to test this out. So now we'll open our VoIP widget and then click into the contacts tab and simply just search Paul Smith in the search field. And I'm going to click into his name and to give him a call. All I have to do is click this phone icon. Don't worry. He knows I'm setting this up and testing our system, so I won't be bothering him too much. Paul's going to pick up, and we can tell that the setup worked because it's connected. We can also tell that the widget is green right here in the in call for field. 
which indicates that the call has gone through and all of our settings are correct. And that's it for today. If you'd like to see some use case walkthroughs, be sure to check out our videos on making sales calls and working in support call queues, linked down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.